What's good? Welcome back. What's good? Welcome back to another F1 video. We have why is the Spanish GP such a bad track for racing? So we are finna check it out. We are, we are finna see what it's talking about. I hope you guys are doing well. Amazing. On this lovely Monday. So um, I'll see the Spanish GP is the next race upcoming. I'm not gonna give you guys my prediction yet. I kind of really don't know yet, but. Uh, let's see Leclerc win. I, I will get to Leclerc right quick because he did some crazy this weekend. But I don't have my prediction for the upcoming uh, race. If you guys do, let me know. But it's probably going to change throughout the week. So that's that. But if you guys do, put in the comment section below. But let's get into some quick F1 news before we start the video. Obviously, going to Leclerc. He crashed Nicky Lada's ex, Lada's Ferrari. At the Marco Historic Grand Prix, uh, I think they said this is like a curse or something. Um, I did see Leclerc make, make like a post about it on like Twitter with some like I guess a banter or some laugh about it. Um, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really don't know what happened. I just seen like a clip or two. It's like he just crashed it, but that's <laughs> so fortunate. That sucks. I really don't know what he was trying to do. I, I said I just saw the clip. I didn't really go too much into it, but. That's that, and um, that's it. That's pretty much it. If I'm missing anything, let me know. I was on my phone to make sure I have just news, and uh, I'll just get started. Don't forget to like the video and stuff as well. Also, we should be live Monday, 9 a.m. We should be, keyword. I can't tell you, I can't give a definite answer, but as of right now, we should be live. For the race on Sunday. Appreciate you guys for hanging out for the live streams as well, man. Very, very fun time. Such a bad track for racing. With the Spanish Grand Prix coming up this weekend, I thought I'd dive into a question that some of you may have been wondering. What makes the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia such a horrendous track for overtaking? Part of me is hoping I channel my inner jinxing power to create one of the best races we've ever seen, and you'll all come back to this video thanking me. But realistically, to watch, we know this is more than likely going to be Spain without the S. <laughs> as much as we all love Formula One, I can hear the collective groans when people realize that it's the Spanish Grand Prix coming up. But why? It has a long pit straight, sweeping corners, and should make for some good racing, right? Wrong. When you take a look at the circuit from an aerial perspective. Okay, so let's look at the circuit right quick before we actually advance. Like this little DRS range, possibly. It doesn't look that bad. I don't understand the issue regarding with it. I mean, we'll see. But the track does has like a lot of like tough corner cuts, stuff like that. It doesn't look bad. It does look a tad bit weird, but it doesn't look that bad. So let's let let's see what the what the real issue is. You can see one glaringly obvious problem from the get-go: braking zones. What is crucial to an overtake is the chance for a driver okay. to dive it up the inside or outside if you're feeling cheeky by outskilling their opponent by braking later than them. Think of turn 14 at China or turn 1 at Brazil or the bus stop chicane at Spa. They're all heavy braking zones which mean lunges are possible. Now, don't get me wrong, turn 1 at Spain is the best opportunity for a move, but the problem is that it's still a pretty high speed corner as it's a sweeping right left before another long right hander. So unless you're literally side by side or perhaps even slightly ahead, you won't be able to pull the move off and you'll be wondering whether you're racing or playing ping pong. <laughs> Another problem with turn one is actually nothing to do with turn one. It's all turns 14 and 15's fault. That's a weird you turn. To point your blame at something That's a weird action, thing. It's these guys. Whoever made the chicane at the end of the lap must clearly absolutely despise any kind of entertainment because with this slow, horrible section before the pit straight, it separates the cars too drastically unless the car behind is an absolute dream under traction and can somehow get close. Okay, so with the issues with these cars, is it more of like a fan experience of why people don't really like the Spanish GP? Because, listen, this is just going to be another boring race. We kind of already experienced that the last race back in Miami. It wasn't really that great until the last couple of laps, obviously, with the crash between Lando and uh, Pierre Gasly, if I'm correct. I think, yeah, Gasly. But, listen, I'm not trying to see back-to-back -back boring races. I don't think you guys are either trying to watch boring, boring back-to-back -back races. 
But if there's a way we can possibly not make it a boring race, let's hopefully we have some action too. But as of right now, in the way but he is describing the track, it doesn't seem that great. But let's see. Let, let's just see. Back in the day and up until 2006, that chicane didn't exist. And it was a beautiful sweeping right hander before the last corner and then onto the straight. In fact, you can still see it today as an alternative layout that F1 do not use. There were mixed messages in 2007 as to whether it was changed to improve overtaking or because the fast right-hander was deemed too dangerous at high speeds with not a lot of runoff. It makes sense that it was the latter, especially as the circuit layout has been the same for 14 years with no changes after some dreadful races. Okay, that's the issue. That is the issue. Now, I was actually thinking that in my head, but I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to act stupid, but 14 years, no changes, and... That's where I'm going back to my point, like, if fans have an issue with the track in the in the race, why hasn't anything been done to change the track to make it more entertaining? Like I said, I'm not trying to watch back-to-back -back one races. I've already experienced that last week. I mean, last race. But it's, but it seems like this isn't really a household track fun for a lot of the fans, but let's just see. I know I've only focused on turn one. Jesus and turn, Christ! That's because the rest of the lap is pretty much single file. Ah, ew! Another great overtaking opportunity at turn ten because it's a hairpin and therefore a hard braking zone. Wait, what? They've, they've changed it so it's more of a sweeping corner, meaning not as hard of a braking zone, meaning less chances of overtaking. Oh, God's sake! Yes, they have indeed changed turn ten to make it more sweeping and less hairpinny. Yes, that's a technical term. That's a that's a word. Benefit Formula One, but MotoGP, who they also host, and allows. Oh, yeah, we know about that. The riders. We should check that out some more. Regulations coming in next year, which should allow for cars to follow much, much closer with their stripped back aerodynamics. There may be some hope for this circuit, but for this year, we're going to have to expect much of the same in terms of overtaking action. That is, unless we get some changeable weather conditions, and then all of this goes out the window because rain could make a race in the car park exciting. So, what I'm getting is that it's kind of going to be like Miami, you could say. It's not going to be a lot of overtaking. And once that leader is in front, it's basically a GG. Unless an accident happens like we got. Hopefully it rains. <laughs> I don't think I've ever experienced a race that it was raining. I couldn't tell you if I have. Yeah, honestly couldn't tell you if I have or not. But... There you have it, why the Spanish Grand Prix is so We'll check that out later on the week if it's supposed to rain and I don't think it's a day forecast. It, you know, the weather always changes, but does it seem that good for the upcoming Spanish GP? I could be wrong now. I could be completely wrong. You guys let me know you got stars to it, man. But like this should be a fun race, another race for this uh, season. Obviously, Ferrari and Red Bull have been dominating the stops look for a third straight win. And you know, we'll see what we can go from there, but <laughs> you guys let me know you guys thoughts about me hopefully you know hearing guys different viewpoints on the track on the race can be better like i said i probably need to watch last year's race highlights just to see what happened what, what went down but we'll just take that story. maybe we can re react to that uh tuesday wednesday to see what's talking about but uh, anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel and i will see you guys Hey, you're on.